Good morning. It was a chilly start first thing, frost across parts of Scotland, and that's because we've changed our air mass here in the UK. The Atlantic air has departed now, it's across Scandinavia, that deep area of low pressure, and instead we've got this chilly air, air with us over the next couple of days really. To put that in context, for the best part of a week and a half now we've had temperatures into the teens, yesterday saw them dip back down closer to the February average and that's what is with us for the next couple of days. Feeling chilly because of the brisk wind today which is bringing in a lot of showers to northern western Scotland, northern Ireland, western parts of England along with Wales, wintry over the hills, the best of the sunshine, the dry weather further east but nowhere exempt from the showers because of that brisk wind and as you can see we're back down to the seasonal average today. It just feels colder because it has been so mild recently. Now the showers continue this evening but tend to fade away in central and eastern parts overnight so I think as the wind falls light as well we're going to have a problem with fog tomorrow morning but also frost more widely. We had it in Scotland this morning it'll be across many parts rural parts as we get towards tomorrow morning so scraping the ice off the windscreens if you're heading out early and the visibility really will be a problem particularly I think for Midlands central and eastern parts of England where the ground's so saturated we've had so much rain in fact we've still got a numerous flood warnings out at the moment following yesterday's rain. But as you can see, more showers on Saturday, a lot of dry weather though, still just nines and tens and temperatures limited where we have that fog lingering. But it does look predominantly dry for the rugby matches, the Six Nations, as you can see underway tomorrow in Ireland and Scotland. But come Sunday, we're watching this next area of low pressure developing and it's giving us a little bit of a headache as to exactly where it's going to track. It looks set to give some more wet and windy weather across France, but increasingly the computer models seem to be taking some of that wetter, windier weather across the southern half of the UK, which means it should stay mostly dry in that cooler air further north. So another coldish feeling day, another issue with frost and fog first thing Sunday. But then it's how much of that windy, wet weather we see crossing England and Wales. We don't need any more rain, still numerous flood warnings in force after recent rain. You can find out the details on the website.